feckin' size it. Well, how are you doing? Oh, so we're up by a beautiful lake in the mountains. We're just gonna chill out for the night. We're gonna get a lot of rain in the morning, but uh, <laughs> it's so good to be out. It's always a rush and a push to get out on the Friday, but you have the rest of the weekend then to chill out. The first time sleeping in a two-person tent, so I can't get over the size of it. It's massive. So I'm out with my friend Ian, and uh, yeah, he's putting me to shame with the food, like proper cooking. Like, let's have a look at his setup. I said Ian, you're putting me to shame. <laughs> nice. Looking good. Oh, just waiting for my tea to brew now. There's a full moon tonight, we're hoping to get it. It's just right over the ridge now. Yeah, so hopefully, hopefully we'll get that. It's a super moon tonight, I think. It'd be so cool. <laughs> oh, so nice to be out. It really, really is so nice to be out. We're gonna wake up to a lot of rain, but I don't care. It's always a struggle to get out the door, but when you're out, it's just so worth it. So worth it. Hungry now. I have a uh, mushroom cabanara tonight, and uh, not like Ian's. Ian's was <laughs> like Michelin star. Mine's not. <laughs> oh, look forward to a cup of tea now. I have a star bar as well. Now, let's be having you. Have some pepper in here as well and some Parmesan cheese from Ian. <laughs> so this is actually, I didn't know which one this was, but what I did this time, so inside in here, I just have like your normal Ziploc bag, which you can put boiling water into, which I never knew. So my thought process was every time that I boil water, say in my pot, and use pasta and stuff like that. It's full of grease. And if I want to use that for porridge the next morning, or if I want to bo a boil up tea, well then you can taste the grease and you can taste the stuff. So that's why I started using, say, the, the outside of the fire pot, and then just a normal Ziploc bag in the inside, which doesn't melt. So it's the perfect combination. And plus your pot then is nice and clean for whatever you want to do. So porridge in the morning is going to be fine after you make your cup of tea. Why not? We climbed up the hill a bit to get a glimpse of the full moon. <laughs> it's very cool. I got a picture of it, but it's uh, only with the phone. It's not going to be good enough. A lovely night though. So calm. So Ian's tent tonight is 16 years old. Like, that's just incredible. It's the first version of the Banshee. But let's have a look at it. It's uh, 16 years old and still bulletproof. He had it up out in the back garden for a few days in the rain and uh, it didn't leak one bit. But, call it vintage camping. Look at this. 16 year old, just bulletproof. The two air vents. Oh, so cool. I must review this. Ew. I'm going to get a lot of rain in the morning, so I said I'd come down now and fill fill up some water to have it. But, uh, be grand. So handy. <laughs> right, let's go up. I might plan a small bit of a movie now and just chill out for the night. Tighten up the tent. you all still nylon under the tents. They, they stretch when wet, so... I believe I'm standing in the vestibule. <laughs> I've never had this much room in my life in a tent. Let's just see which room I'm in now. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Like, <laughs> unreal. So much 
bathroom. Let's bring it. What a beautiful night. That moon was spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. What a night. Okay, time to get some sleep. I'll talk to you in the morning. Let's so hopefully to see what kind of day we have. Night, night. I don't want to get up. It's too rainy out. Hmm. I love the sound of rain. <laughs> it's so nice. <laughs> Times it. Seven. Um, this is only the start with this torrential rain on the way in, so I do want a cup of tea. Ugh. Oh, I think a cup of tea first and start packing. But don't forget about the sunrise. <laughs> we'll be getting any. Okay, time to get up. Start packing first, I think. Oh, I really don't want to get up. Left well though, I must say. No. I have my uh, Zarkulu jacket with me. Be a good test for that today now. On the way down. Nice. Uh, this head torch that I was using last night was sent to me by Sign Sky. Um, honestly, I was a bit skeptical at the start because of how small it is. It's tiny. Absolutely tiny. I was nearly going to bring a second head torch out to be on the safe side. But my god, the power out of this. So at max you have 1100 lumens. You also have a battery indicator here. It flashes the different colours. So green, white and then red. So at the moment that's at red. I had it on all night. But for the size of it, it's, it's brilliant. I really, really like it. Um, there's a locking function as well, which I always love on, on, on torches. I've had too many torches that were on in my bag when I when I when I uh, took them out. So I double tap here. So press it and it just flashes. It won't come back on. But yeah, I'll leave all the details in the description. But uh, I want to thank Science Guy for sending me on that. It's really cool. I love the size of it. <laughs> I really, really do. The one thing I love is the size of this tent. It was the perfect choice for this camp because I knew it was going to be raining in the morning but I can pack absolutely everything up in here and even if I wanted to I could take the inner down and I still have the shell up so it might be a good option to do actually I can have my um I could eat in there then So one thing I did notice last night is the very annoying flapping noise outside. I didn't know whether it was my tent or Ian's, but it's mine. It's the flap that goes over the, uh, the zip. So I suppose if it's not Velcroed down properly and I could actually get to the Velcro by zipping from the top. So, yeah, lesson learned. I had my earplugs on anyway, it didn't bother me, but still. You don't want any noise in the night time, you know. Just the wind has picked up, isn't it? Crazy. Now, plenty more room in the inside for having my tea
Anything you want to keep dry now, chuck in here. Yeah. This was smell of vision. Smell that coffee. Nice. Cheers, everyone. Very impressed by this tent to have this ability to take down the inside. Like even if you came up earlier and the weather was really bad, you, you don't have to put the inner up for until you're going to sleep and you have all this space inside here. It's just brilliant. Yeah, very impressed. This is lovely then just looking out. So nice. Yeah, really coming down now. We need to get moving before the very strong wind comes in. So it's going to be a quick hike down. So let's get ready. What a night. But I want to thank you very much for joining me. Um, I'll leave Ian's channel and details of his video in the description as well. And yeah, please hit the like button and all that jazz. We'll talk to you in the next one.